Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use a tool called break at point to break an object at some specific point. First, let's find the break break at point tool. It's in the modify panel. We need to extend the bottom part of the modify menu to the here. We're going to see break at a point tool. Look at the prompt. It says breaks the selected object at a single point. Keep reading valid object include lines, open polylines, arcs, closed objects such as circles cannot be broken at a single point. It means that circle right is not applicable to this tool, but it didn't say the rectangle or polygon tool. Right, let's try to play with this tool. Before doing that, let's try to check some drawing that I have done. So this is the line. It is definitely applicable to this tool. Right? I already break the line and here. So we have two parts. Left part and right part. So I draw a polyline. Poly. I use a polyline tool. Draw a polyline like this. I break it and here now we have two parts. The right part and the left part. This is a this is a closed object. I tried with the break at the point two and break it and here at this point. We got two parts. One part and two parts. And this is a circle. But I can't apply that too. This is the arc. We can use the the break at point 2 to break it. I break it at here. So let's repeat it. First, use the line to draw a line. Right click, hit enter. Then, go to modify panel. Activate break at point 2. Break it. Select it. Look at the command window. It says select object. Select it. Now look at the common window. We need to specify breakdown point. The breakdown point is here. Now try to move your cursor on the object on the right part. We see we have the part on the left bar. We have this part. Let's repeat the second one. We are. We, are, we will use polyline tool to draw a polyline. Do it here, 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 here. Hit enter. Now let's activate break at point tool. We can directly type in break. Now we're going to have the prompt select the break at point tool. Select it. Now we activate break at point two. We need to select object. Now we need to decide the break to look at the bottom. The break point. So I want to do exactly the same as this one. So it's likely we decide this is here. Now we see we have the right part. We have the left part. Let's keep doing. Draw a rectangle. And uh, apply the point here. Go to modify panel. Select break at point 2. 
select the object, select the point, and select the point here. Now we see we have this part, we have this part. The rest is going to be the second part. A circle, let's draw a circle. Try to apply the break at the point to, to modify panel, activate break at two, select the circle, right click, it says specify uh, break point. Let's select the point. Now it says that arc cannot be full 30. Uh, 360 degree. This is the circle, so we can't use can't use the break at the point two. Now let's draw arc. From here, second from here, and here. Now let's type in break and activate break at the point. Select object and then we need to decide a point. So right here we have the bottom part, we have the top part. Thank you very much for your watching.